Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Friday, June 30th, 2017. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Right now, we're officially T-minus 24 hours from getting the action started at this year's Chicago Pro. And it looks like second year 212 pro Ricardo Correa is ready to get out there and mix it up. This week, Correa released a handful of new progress photos just before hopping on the plane to make the long trip across the Atlantic where the former UK national champ will look to get his 2017 campaign started off with a bang. From what we can see, Correa is coming into Chicago light years ahead of where he was at his debut at the Tampa Pro last season. And on paper, this 212 lineup seems like it could be one of the more loaded shows we see all year. So if Correa can somehow manage to crack the top five, I think he should leave the arena feeling like mission has been accomplished. There's been a lot of noise floating around the internet lately about guys using fake weights in their videos to make themselves look, well, pretty. But something tells me you don't have to worry about any of that nonsense with our old friend, Brad Rowe. Early Wednesday morning, some new video surfaced of Rowe smashing another one of his legendary leg sessions as he gears up to make one of his patented late season runs. Once again, Rowe has managed to keep himself in fantastic shape this off season. And now that he's finally been able to stay healthy, as long as he picks his spots correctly, it feels like we could be on the verge of getting one of those best versions of Brad Rowe we've ever seen. I can't tell you a whole lot about Switzerland other than the fact that they have great chocolate and they make some pretty damn good watches. But if you ask me, they aren't doing too bad in the bodybuilding department either these days. This week, some new progress photos began to filter out of 212 rookie phenom Nicholas Vuliad. And I think it's safe to say that Switzerland's greatest export has been doing a good bit of growing since he called it a wrap for the season. Despite missing his mark a bit in his debut at the Charlotte Pro, it doesn't take a huge stretch of the imagination to see that this kid has a very bright future in front of him. With a little bit of fine tuning here and there, and some good months ahead of him to really figure this out, Whenever he's ready to get it going again next season, I think we'll probably all see that super crazy detailed version of Nicholas Vuliad that we've all been waiting for. If you're a fan of the show, then you probably already know what we think about this year's Figure Olympia, that it's going to be one of the best we've seen in a very long time. And that was without even factoring in the Nicole Wilkins effect. Late Thursday night, the former three-time Olympia champ released some training footage from a recent back session, where she let the rest of the figure world know that the 2017 version of Nicole Wilkins is coming back with a vengeance. There are exactly two women in this year's Olympia lineup who know what it feels like to be crowned the Olympia champion, and only one of them who's ever lost the title and then went on to win it back again. Yes, Nicole Wilkins. She just been too damn good for too long to count her out. And in my mind, it wouldn't come as the biggest shock in the world if she wound up adding another chapter to her legacy by securing title number four. So far, it kind of feels like it's been a ho-hum season in the women's physique division this year. But apparently, mile-high murderer Heather Grace is planning to make things a whole lot more interesting come Olympia time. Over the last few weeks, Grace has been in the gym training like an absolute demon and looks like she's well on her way towards putting together one of her best looks ever. Over the last year and change, Grace has very quietly been one of the most dangerous athletes in all of women's physique, highlighted by two brilliant third place efforts at the Arnold and Olympia. When she's at her best, Heather Grace is about as good as it gets and I wouldn't be the least bit surprised or shocked if she ends up scratching and clawing her way to another top three finish.